Hello, everybody. Welcome back in more Detroit Become Human. Last time we left off, Alice, Luther, and Kara finally got a break. We ran into the Jerry's, who were a super nice collective of theme park employees who let Alice ride on the carousel at the theme park that we were hiding out in. Marcus staged a heist in order to steal parts for Jericho for the androids that were shutting down, and it seems like he's heading more into, like, a revolutionist mindset where he really wants to help his people. And Connor is hanging out with Hank, being besties with Hank, questioning his core programming a little bit and what it means to be a deviant hunter and what it means to possibly be a deviant and a machine itself. So... Lots going on. Definitely more heavy stuff in Car and Marcus's direction where Connor is a lot of fun and just introspective on what Connor is probably feeling. But I'm excited to hop back in, see exactly where we're going. And we're hanging out with Hank, which I always look forward to. Okay, we're just in the car. He left us in the car listening to rock music. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Hold up, Hank. I need to see what's on this bench. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Click on it. Okay, there we go. The mysterious Mr. Kamsky. What happened to the man of the century? Politics focus. Are American senators really corrupt? <laughs> Interesting question. I wonder I wonder what the answer is. Uh, China earthquake kills 10,000. Market predicts war. Obviously. It's not like we're not squaring off in the Arctic with Russia right now. Stock exchange falls 10% in fear of Arctic conflict. President Warren at 33% approval. Cyberlife, a world's first trillion dollar company. Do you think Hank will be mad if we go play while he does whatever it is he's doing? Oh, I want to play on the train for the seesaw. Okay. We could put Connor on the slide. Oh, this view is so pretty. What you thinking about, Hank? Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Personal question, stop drinking before, go back. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Oh, come on, Hank. We're friends. Personal question. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions? Or is it just you? Probably just me. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Sorry, Hank. It was your son, right? Yeah. Oh, was that the before? His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. RA9? What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls, they just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. 
Uh, rational, deviance, ironic, cold. I don't like any of these. They didn't want anything. Uh, uh, why are these so deviance. vague? End of story. Damn it, Connor. That's not what I wanted. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? Cold, aggressive, defensive. I don't like any of these, Connor. You know exactly what I am. In any case, I don't see how that's relevant to the investigation. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? Uh, truth. No. I just decided not to shoot. Mm -hmm. That's all. Oh my god, please don't do that, Are Hank. Are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? I will be sad. Oblivion? Android heaven? Uh, defy Hank's anger, ironic. I mean, technically nothing. Nothing. Don't do there it. There would be nothing. Path Where unlocked for friend. Get drunker. I need to think. And just when I said last episode that heavy stuff didn't really happen for Connor. Oh, ooh, we could, could we have gotten shot? Oh my God. Can you imagine losing Connor to Hank? Oh man. I mean, it still said friend at the end. It still said friend. Hank still likes us. There's just a lot going on upstairs. He's thinking about his son and everything going on. And I didn't really catch how long ago Hank's son died. But there is maybe the slim possibility that maybe Hank's son died so long ago that if, his, if Cole had lived, he maybe would have been a similar age to how Connor looked. So... Maybe that brought up some emotions for Hank because he is forming this friendship with someone who, and I know Connor doesn't really have an age and he wasn't born, but someone who could potentially be the same age as his deceased son. Oh man, I, oh Mr. Krabs, don't make me sad here. At least he still likes Connor, we're gonna move on, hopefully it'll give us the chance to further fix this relationship. Okay, we're back with Marcus. What you thinking about Marcus? Tech revolutionized, uh, what did it say? Oh. That's interesting. That other android experienced like a software uh, instability just from looking at Marcus. You could see his red ring. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Okay. 
nice coat. What's the full plan here? Nice fit entirely. I really like the outfit. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Okay, get to the 47th floor request, request, request access at reception. Can I touch anything before I go? Okay, it's just a broadcast wall. Just a fancy wall. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Oh, distract the human supervisor. I can do that. Okay, uh, let's look. Smartwatch, phone number. Okay, we have her phone number. Name is Elizabeth Wilson. Okay, daughter Emily. Okay, we know the kid's school. That's scary. Um, we have her home address. Fire safety rating is poor. Okay. What's this? Parking badge. Gotcha. Call. Oh. Okay, literally Wilson calling speaking? her. Uh, school parking fire department. Good morning, Miss Wilson. Sorry to bother you. This is Mike from the car park. There's a problem with your car. Problem? Uh, what kind of problem? Somebody's backed into it. You'd better come take a look. Are you serious? Oh, God. All right. Fine, I'll be right down. Okay, you know... Yeah, the other options were, like, fire department, which I guess was to call about her home and her kid's school. Let's not give her a heart attack. Let's just let her go check on her car. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. Give ID. I oh. need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. So can Marcus immediately unlock Deviancy, or can he control other androids? Because if he's unlocking Deviancy, like, what would happen if, for whatever reason, there was just an android that... Oh my god, that person walked in just as the door was closing. For whatever reason, there was, like, an android who, um didn't agree with Marcus and wanted to give him away. Oh. Inside. Uh, we need to go to 47, right? Ooh. That's fancy. A little bit inefficient if you have to go to multiple floors, but it's cool to look at. Okay. Find package in the men's bathroom. Is this a map? It is. Okay, I'm here. And I need to go... Uh, down a long hallway towards the back wall. Which means I'm gonna go everywhere but that. I wanna look around. Just pretend like you belong here, Marcus. Everybody could use coffee, man. Sorry, I don't mean to listen in on your conversation. Okay, cyber life has issues because of the impact androids had on society. Makes sense, makes sense. Newsroom. We can't go bother people. Okay, that is... Is that the ladies' bathroom? Okay, yeah, because ladies' bathroom was on the corner. So this should be men's bathroom. Oh, that's cool. The way that they have the occupied signs. Okay, I figured this one's ours. We're looking for a package. 
climb. Okay, blending in. Gotta take one good look at ourselves in the mirror. Just making sure you're washing your hands. That is this unit's function. Make sure the humans are clean. Oh. Better wash your hands. All right. And now we find the utility android. Uh, is it this thing? That is not, okay. It might mean like an actual walking android, not a robot. Oh, I was wondering why that door was open now. I need your help. See, it's so simple that I'm not sure whether he's unlocking deviancy or just allow making them do what he wants them to do. Okay, I take this. Where do I go? Like, I can't think of any valid reason. Well, I can think of a couple of valid reasons why androids would want to help Marcus or wouldn't. But I mean, it just seems so simple. Am I supposed to go? No, I'm supposed to go to the fire escape. Where's the fire escape? That's not the fire escape. Uh, cafeteria might be across this way. You know what, I'll just find my, oh, 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 causing issues. I'll just find it. It's gotta be here somewhere. Ooh, newsroom. Gonna hit your ankles. Get out of my way. Okay, that's the bathroom. I just came out of there. I'm pretty sure I might have passed it by now. Uh, that's another newsroom. It probably was the door that I walked by. That's the server room. Do a little turn. Ah, okay, I see it. I see it, I passed over it a couple of times. Don't you get in my way, robot. Open. North. Okay, I'm doing my job. Nothing to see here. Just an honest working android. Definitely not here to lead a Shit. revolution. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Okay, uh, attract guards away. Hey. What's this? Hack! Okay. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. That worked out okay. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Okay, lock door. All 
right. I take... I go over here. Okay, interesting. Oh, wait a minute. Why are we doing this? Okay, I'm making an exit, but why? Interesting. We're going to Mission Impossible our way somewhere. All right, we are scaling a high rise. Not where I expected this to go. So would there just be too much security to go up to the level that we want to go to? Probably. It seems like we're going to the top. It's a very cool scene, though. Easy peasy, okay. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> Come on, let's get the others. That was a very interesting scene. Very cool, though. Okay, mm, no door for us. Ah, okay, do this instead. Let's do this. Okay, we got handed a doorknob. Oh no, it's a... Okay, even better, just fries the lock. All right, interesting, interesting. Deal with guards. No okay. Cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Uh, a ruse. Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Oh. Looks bugged if you ask me. Okay, I guess I do do this. What are you doing? I guess this counts as a ruse. Knock him out. 
Okay, they're fine. Gonna have a headache later. Just put them over there. Ah, uh, sh we should probably be concerned about those cameras. Let's not shoot anyone if we don't have to. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up, move. Okay, order Android operators aside. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shoot him, Someone grab him. him. He'll hit the alarm. Do it. No, don't uh... shoot. Dang it. I hope you didn't just get us all killed. I hope not either. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. But there are specific reasons, okay? If we're supposed to be asking humans to be lenient with androids, we really don't want to start this off by having killed a couple of people. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Yeah, that's why I'm trying not to kill anyone. Marcus, your face. What about his face? Oh. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. Okay, we're taking over all the stations. That's why we had to be at the top. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient, with no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species, and the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Oh, I have to come up with rights? Okay. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Uh, right to property, means of reproduction, territory? Um... What's this one? We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. Okay, I guess that's one of his demands now, because I pressed it. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Ooh, okay, we need to go. Ooh, they brought the whole team. Yeah, we need to go. Oh. Simon, they're coming! I, I can't, Marcus! Go without me, Simon! Oh, Simon, Simon, Simon. Uh, get Simon. What are you doing? Hurry! I'm getting Simon. What do you mean, what am I doing? Simon. I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. We're jumping? Deal with Simon? He won't be able to make the jump if they find him. 
They'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. I don't want to shoot Simon. Uh, uh, uh. Simon, Simon, hide. Th that's what you need to do. Oh, this is gone. It's Simon, gonna cause so many issues. We gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. Uh, but at least Simon likes us more. It, it, it manages to hide. That'll mean something. Oh. Oh. We're jumping. Very cool scene. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but no casualties. was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is, in fact, a spine-chilling list of demands. But the most surprising thing of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids is in this, this contentious an conflict. Yeah, that or was a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us. After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Okay. I have been wondering for a while when the concept of public opinion was going to be in play because it's been in our, like, top left. Uh, the group left Simon behind. That's going to cause so many issues. It's been in the top left here for so long and it's just never been addressed, the whole thing about public opinion. And for, if it's going to matter at any point, it's going to matter now. Because if you're going to be asking the humans, your creators, for leniency and rights, you might not want to start that off violently. Oh, man. The broadcast scene was kind of awkward because, uh I don't know. Let's see. Okay, all of the first choices make sense. Well, you could have picked any of the four and it would have made sense to me. Uh, and any of the second ones would have made sense to me. See, the third one is kind of where I feel like I messed up. Because the demand of territory felt a little bit off. Uh, what made me pass over the right to own property is that androids are kind of immortal. So them owning property, I guess it would be fine. I could have picked that one. And now that I think about it, probably, I probably could have picked like reproductive rights because then that could have led into like Kara having, she'd have an outlet to be able to perhaps adopt Alice in some way, but I didn't really know what that mean meant. Uh, yeah. So that was weird, but. Overall, the at least it was received well. I'm just unhappy about having to leave Simon, and I'm really worried. Because obviously this was a issue that revolves deviants, and we all know who shows up to issues that revolve deviants, and there's the man of the hour. This area is so pretty. All right, it's time for another weekly performance check-in with Amanda. Gotta get our manager's approval. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, she's over there. Yeah, I love this Zen Garden so much. All right, Amanda, what do you have to say to me today? Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Okay, let's see.
Oh, I have to do work. Okay. Row. Row. Row your android. I love this place. Same. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me. What have you discovered? Uh, Eden Club. I found two deviants at the Eden Club. We don't need to talk about Hank. I hope to learn something, but... They managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. Yeah, she's not happy. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. No. Uh, let's not be sincere. Not with Amanda. I'm just frustrated with my lack of progress. See, that's what but I'm talking I'm about. I'm determined to accomplish my mission. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? Too far, no use, the truth. We're not using the truth. We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. Good lie. You're doing good, Connor. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. Oh no, see, that's what I was kind of afraid of. Uh, indifferent. Confident. I know I will succeed. Okay. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. I don't... Uh, I, I... That was kind of what I was afraid of, that she would stop trusting Connor. You're starting to piss and... me off with that coin, Connor. <laughs> oh Sorry, no, the I take the coin! Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Uh, the scaled the building. Not yet. There's so much to look at. Let's let's not go to the roof. You know. Attacked two guards in the hallway. Probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. No reason to check the roof. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. Okay. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the deviants, it's on that screen over there. Okay, we've listened to the brief. I don't want to check the rooftop. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? I don't like it. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. 
and you watch your step. Did you just threaten Hank? Crapsy. Oh, Perkins. What a fucking prick. That's what I'm thinking. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. All right. Okay, Lieutenant. Let's try to avoid the roof as long as possible. Because here's my issue now. Amanda is starting to question Connor's ability to deliver. I don't want to capture Simon, but I'm wondering if it'll be worth it to have Amanda trust us again to avoid possibly Connor getting taken out of the picture by Cyberlife. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. True. This android seems to have that objective. Ooh, we can scan. What are we scanning for? Okay, blue iris spare part. Oh yeah, because one of these eyes we took from the junkyard. Deviant- oh, pupil reflection. Nice, Connor. Uh, what are we looking for here? Huh, what are we looking for here? Oh! Series prototype RK200 registered as Marcus. Gift from Elijah Kamsky to Carl. So the owner of Cyberlife knew Carl. You see something? I identified its model in Syria. Or knows Carl. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Okay, so that explains a couple of things if he was a gift, because we knew before that Marcus was a prototype, and I couldn't work out how Carl managed to get his hands on a Cyberlife prototype. But if it was a gift, that makes sense. Okay, stolen maintenance cap. Okay, this is probably going to be Simon's blood. Yep, and there goes Connor licking it. Ah, Deviant was shot. What's this? Okay, bullet holes. Okay, it's speeding up the reconstruction for us. There was something with this desk. Speech was shot from here. Obviously. Uh, there's something over here. What's this? Deviants didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Seems unlikely. station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but okay. we didn't know what else to do with them. Makes sense. The androids let them in. Interrogate in the kitchen. Connor? Who called me? Do you remember me? It was um, on the terrace. 
Oh. That android that took the little girl hostage? I was shot. I, yeah, remember. You saved me. Connor, you remember too. I remember you. I could have died on that terrace. But you saved my life. I never thought I'd say this to an android. You're telling me not once for any reason have you ever thought to say thank you to an android? Really? Oh, but I'm happy we got a scene out of that for helping that guy in the very beginning. Okay. Our three androids. Which one of you did it? Okay, we actually get to do the interrogation. Let's go. Uh, look for a reaction to spot the deviant. Okay. Do I just stare at him? What function. is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Okay. Can I ask you questions? State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Okay. What about you? Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Convenient. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. What about you? Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Hmm. His eyes cut for like half a sec. Oh, he did it again. You're giving yourself away, your buddy. Recently? Not to my knowledge. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. <laughs> You're going to be switched off. Oh We're wait, I should threaten the other one. And tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. Oh You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! He looked completely over. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. You're blinking too much. It's gotta be him. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Oh. I can get. Ooh, I can go straight for the memory probe. The deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. We know everything. Oh, okay. Oh, fight, 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 fight back, fight back, fight back. No, Connor. Oh my God. What did he rip out? Time remaining before shot. Oh my god, 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 can we get this out? We can get this out. Okay. Pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. Okay, find the thing that he ripped out, the core, the heart, whatever it is. Crawl, Connor, crawl. Go, Connor, go, Connor, go. Go, Connor, go, Connor, go. Go, Connor, go, Connor, go. Oh, come on, Connor, it's right there. It's right there. Okay, we got, um... Uh, just under a minute and 20. We got it. You get your heart, Connor. Come on, it's right there. Oh, you're gonna pay for this. Oh, 
he just reached in and ripped it out. Okay, chase sequence, let's go. Oh, keep, keep going, Connor, keep going. It's a deviant. Oh. Stop. oh my God, it has gun. Okay, okay, what are my options? What are my options? What are my options? Take gun, that's a decent choice. Attack, terrible choice. Uh, save Hank, also a good choice. Uh, can I pause? Yes, okay. The gun makes the most sense to me because if Connor's the perfect cop, you better have perfect aim or I'm going to sue Cyberlife. Nice shot, Connor. I wanted it alive. I wanted, okay, yeah. You saved human lives. You saved my life. I was gonna save you no matter what. But honestly, if Cyberlife went through the effort of making the perfect android cop and did not give him perfect aim, I was about to sue them for just false advertisement. Did we... Did they never find Simon because we didn't go looking for him? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, let me see. Okay, that's great. Investigate the broadcasting room. Massacre prevented, awesome. Uh, rescue cop, shoot the deviant, draw a gun, um... Oh my god, so much happened. Oh, investigate the corridor. Ooh, I missed a- I missed a little bit. I missed the hallway. But, we saved everyone in the hallway. The gun made the most sense. If you're gonna make a perfect cop, you better be a perfect shot. Otherwise, Cyberlife, you're just not good at making androids. So that worked out. And maybe, oh, I wanted to say maybe it raised our um, social a little bit, but I really don't think it did, the public opinion. But because we got wrapped up with the deviant in the kitchen, Simon should be safe, right? Hopefully. Fingers crossed on that one because it didn't show him getting caught. It showed him kind of resting there. Oh, I can't get over how that one android just reached into Connor's chest and ripped out the component. Okay. But we did what Connor was meant to do, which is protect humans and Hank. And we found, we found a deviant. We found a deviant, which means Amanda should be a little bit happy with us. Okay, check the backyard. We might not have found Simon, but we did find a deviant. So hopefully that gets Amanda off our back for a little while. Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Who are you? Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Okay, hopefully this time it's not a trap. No idea. We have to be careful. If it feels wrong, we get out fast, okay? Mm-hmm. Good plan, good plan. I'm with you. Come in. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. 
There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? I hope this works out. The sun doesn't want us around. Then again, he might just be protected because probably trying to smuggle androids across the border is probably uh, pretty dangerous. Probably gonna be a hefty fine involved if anyone finds out about it. Really nice house. She's like 12. She can't do this part herself. I'm fine, Kara. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. Uh... You need rest. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Why do humans hate us? Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Or maybe she means just talk to each other. Them as a collective it's unit. You're not bad. Oh, okay, you're not bad. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. You made spaghetti that fast? I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. Okay, I was confused by the why do they hate us, but Alice might have meant as like a family unit, why don't, won't they accept us? All right. You guys relax a bit. Maybe she is getting sick though. Maybe that's what Luther was talking about. Can I look around your house, Rose? Will you be mad at me? Oh, it's almost Christmas. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Let's be sincere. Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Uh, why help many deviants, Rose? Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Mm. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but 
There's always food on the table. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. Mm. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. Uh... We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly! Okay, I guess I go too. What's, What's going, going on? on? It's Mary. She just shut down. Oh. Okay, they have more right here. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? I saw the RA9 riding. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Oh. Let's not look at that. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. I love how Alice and Kara both call Kara Kara, and then er for everyone else, it's Kara. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! <sighs> the kid's entitled to his opinion. It's got to be hard to understand and deal with because he probably feels unsafe because of it. Even if it is Don't the right thing. Him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I believe you. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? Awesome. You stay here. I won't be long. Okay. I kind of want to read this. All 
right, we've got World War Three. Uh, treat yourself. Oh, this is Kara's model. Yeah, let's not look at that, Kara. Let's let's focus on a war with Russia. Like that wasn't a topic. Oh. Okay, we can talk to Luther. We can we can look at stuff. Let's well yeah, let's look at some stuff. We'll look at stuff and then we'll talk to Luther. What's this? Oh, blue blood. It's nice and snowy. Lots of bird pictures. Uh, what did that say? Look around, wait for Rose. Uh, I can talk to Adam. Uh, I wonder what confesses. I can see why you're angry. We don't want to cause any problems, we just want to get across the border. The police! Oh! It's no. the police! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are we gonna Open do? door, find evidence. Find evidence, find evidence, find evidence. The blue blood. Here. The blue blood has to go. What do I do about this? I can hide it. That's good. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. Uh, okay, let's, what about you guys? Hurry, Luther, take Alice and hide. Uh, the, the, the yeah, upstairs. upstairs. Makes the most Come sense, on, go. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Oh, what's more evidence? What's more evidence? What, what's that? Oh, this is evidence. Oh, it's someone's uniform. Yeah, that has to go. Uh, one left, one left, one left. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Not this, is it? No. Oh, no, 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 it's these guys, it's these guys. Shut it, shut it, shut it, shut it, shut it. Ooh, okay. Uh, I was gonna reassure the kid, but then we turned around on accident, okay. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure. Just agree. Nod your head and say yeah. Yeah, come in. Of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Stop acting nervous. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Okay. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? Uh, no. no? No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? Uh, yes. Let's be there's, honest. There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Do you have any androids here? Uh, we used to for helping in the garden, but we got rid of it. Nothing to look at there. Just enjoy your cup of coffee.
right. Yep. Anytime. I mean, not stand so close to you. That's weird. Let me stand an appropriate distance away for someone who's not guilty. Okay, low suspicion levels. Oh, imagine if that had been facing the news story about Kara's model of android. Hmm. Your daughter seems to have woken up. You're not even going to try to have a conversation. You're just going to look around the house. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The Adam. The they he needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Okay. Just keep on going. Is somebody else in the house? Ooh, uh... <laughs> Dog, washing machine, wind. We have a dog. It's the dog. He sleeps in the laundry room. St. Bernard named Sorry for the inconvenience. Sumo. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. You might be okay. You did good, Adam. I'm proud of you. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. It's Rose. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Okay, we're gonna try to get the trio to Canada. Oh man, how close are we to the end of the story then? Okay, the policeman left. Good. Uh, manage the police. Police questions Adam made coffee. Ooh, okay. What else could have happened here? Upstairs. All right, so many things going on. I'm just happy that this was not a trap and that Rose is a very nice person. And I think Adam will be helpful. I really don't think the kid will give us away. But everything went well. The cop left. It's all good. Explore the house. Oh, there were a couple things I missed in the house. I miss. I've been missing stuff, but that's okay. That's kind of what makes the game replayable and so much fun. I'm actually very excited to look at other people's playthroughs when I finally finish, because this is such a. Obviously, it's a decision-based game, but it also can tell you a lot about um, someone's opinions on humanity and machinery. So I'm just very excited to maybe play it for myself again, but definitely to watch other people react to it when I'm finished. But I think we are going to end this episode here. Intense episode, but we have to move on forward. Um, Marcus, that whole thing happened with the control tower and uh, asking for rights for the androids. I hated having to leave Simon behind, but... I think because of everything that happened with that other deviant, Simon might have been able to get away. That is what I'm hoping for. And we caught another deviant. It's not like we completely messed that one up. We caught a deviant. So hopefully Amanda trusts us a little bit more. She like gets off our back a little bit. So fingers crossed on that. And we're finally getting the trio to Canada. I don't know what that means for how close we are to the end of the story, but I do look forward to finding out. I really hope you guys enjoyed the episode and I hope you join me again and I will be seeing you very soon. Bye.